This video is a sneak peek into the new design of my dream journal. Or at least as I have it planned. Anyway. But basically what I do is I read through each and every single one of my dreams. It might make you wonder. That many dreams. Expect it to take a long time. However, there's kind of a bonus though. The latest dreams, the last near about 200 or so from 2008 or whatever, they're already pretty much good as is and are already done, so I don't really don't have to process those. So that limits it to about 600 to do. I've already done about 65 or so. All of the computer dreams and now I'm done about 50 of the exploration dreams. I'm starting page 6 here. So, when I get done reading through the dream journal, or the dream entries, I fill in these ratings bars, pretty much in the same way as you saw on the How I Update My Website video. Except there's some differences. The general rating now factors weird into the mix, which has a very small effect. And in addition, the story intact, the dream percent intact rating is... <coughs> It's weighted. Two part story and one part scenery. Why two part story? Well, that's because, uh, well, if they're 0% intact dream, you know, for the story, then, well, it's kind of hard to really get sense on any of these ratings. And I've set in stone the number of question marks used 40, 25, 12, 4 for 0, 1, 2, 3 question marks, based on the low end anyway. Anything less than 4 will often have X used like this. But you might notice here as well, the dates are kind of random. Well, I'm sorting that out too. <clears throat> when I'm done processing that, I mark the category in here and anything, any special icons. Each dream will now use an icon for the category instead of the category number in the dream and such. But there's also some extras in here too for bonuses. Kind of give a graphical user interface in a sense. But you might be wondering here, well, there's a shortcut on hand that I'm aware of. I take this and I put in the HTML code for this and I just use replace to mass replace everything. It's like 10 times faster than going through them one by one. And that's for a moderate sized one. If it's big, it's probably going to be 20. Icons? Well, let's go look at them. This is already take 11 because this video is taking too long. <clears throat> this is for first place record holders. First place best record holders. It's basically a ribbon like you see in the fair. This is actually 16 times actual size. Actual size? This is what actual size looks like. Really small, huh? Well, the text is about that big. So, this is for the second place best dreams. Another ribbon. The first place worst dreams. Spiked instead, using equilateral triangles. A book for dreams that have stories available, whether from being well recalled or just been enhanced by my mind game and don't make a difference. The 38th a chapter and you got basic simple text. Page number and title. And for dreams that are high favorites, or otherwise just noteworthy in general, you get a little page that says noteworthy on it, in usual simple text. Nothing special there. Don't need to save that. Because I'm not making any changes that I want to make changes to. <clears throat> These are the icons for the categories. They're a lot different from what you'd otherwise used to. This, what you saw, was actual size, but this is eight times the normal size. This is for the real video game dreams category. The R indicates real. There's F for fictional, G for general, and C for combo. But I'm going to leave those out. This is an arcade-style joystick, one of those really old ones. A neighborhood in the background with a simple tree and a house. And a video game on a monitor, a platform-type game. Lava, your health, your lives. Just basic video game stuff. And this is a computer dreams category. This is just a computer case. My monitor, a LCD type monitor, with my website layout on it. I use a CRT though. Might get ready to be spooked by this one because that's a ghost. A big one. These are bats. 
haunted house with a ghost inside of it and a black cat, a witch's cat. Chases and escapes category uses this icon. This is me chasing someone else, but it could also be reversed. Me getting chased by someone. Escapes comes from the fire here. You got the smoke billowing out. The streaks indicates the speed. Can't kind of get a hint on the directions. Inspired by this song was this for the exploration category. But that's just the background scenery itself. This is what the whole thing actually looks like. This is the cave. It's kind of odd in the background, worth investigating. I've been wanting to make an animation of this, as like this here. Indoor travel uses this icon. It's just a simple indoor type scene. Door, this one's open. This one's closed, and you got a window in the background. Local travel is kind of question, but it's basically a neighborhood. Pond here, road, and houses should be pretty obvious. If you've taken geography class, you should recognize this. If you don't, you need to take geography class again. It's the world map. But then again, for foreign travel dreams, it's not just entirely on the world itself, because it, there's some dream, one dream that takes place on Mars. This is for general and fictional travel dreams. That's an airline airplane with clouds, a river, forest, lakes, and the ocean. Nothing special there. School dreams use this. Report card. That's something common with school. And a school bus. That's also common, along with the school building. Because where are you supposed to take school at? Road. Well, what do you suppose the bus drives on? Water dreams category is my fifth favorite. Here's me swimming in wavy blue water. That's a sailboat. Colorful, huh? And this one is my second favorite, a close second to the first. But as this is for the fun category, and this is just the background, because I like the background a lot. <clears throat> but with everything included, it's supposed to be a carnival, a Ferris wheel, and those flag type things. That's pretty much what it is. It's the same scene as the nightmares category, except much better. And the most notorious dream of all that started my dream journal, the endless mud lake. Yes, that's me swimming in a pool of soft, gooey mud. That's basically what the kinds of dreams there are. It's actually kind of a similar scene from that dream that I recall for a long time. This is the weird one. Slime. Me walking through slime, and there's some cans floating in it as well. I can't really think of anything much better than that, but... <clears throat> it's the playing in trash dream with a weird rating of 130 that inspired that. The multi-category category is, well, crop screens, crop versions of each of those. One, two, three, four. Those are my top favorite scenes in that order. Vaguely called. Well, the dream is like 2% intact. There really isn't much to really go on. Other. Well, on forums, there's often this other option for, and that's what gave me that idea. But that's basically all there is to the icons. Pretty neat, huh? This is expected to take about two weeks or so. So it's going to be quite a while. And this is the program I'm using to record videos with. And I'm also trying out the 1024 by 640 type size, which is 8.5 aspect ratio for widescreen LCDs in a sense. I'm just trying it out. But anyway, this video was created by Ella Lelia. Thank you for watching.